Hi guys, I'm Melissa from Awesome Adventures and today I'm going to talk to you about timers. Timers are the visual tools needed for a successful special education in the classroom. So the main timer I use for whole group activities is this one behind my classroom. It's from um, online.watch.com. It's all free. So you can set up anytime you want. And then you just press start and you'll, you'll watch as the time goes down, that will change. And you can set it for two minutes. You can do it for a three minute cleanup or I do it for my 15 minute rotation centers. And that helps because students and staff know how much time is left to gauge their work centers before we rotate. I also use a lot of fun timers. You know, I have the basic, uh, you know, three minute timer and that will go off, it'll beep. And then I found some of these um, fun timers that are the, the gel ones. So this is just a one minute timer I got from Daiso Japan, which is like a Dollar Tree here in Southern California and so the beads go down the kids like it so I use these at work centers so I'll say something like oh my gosh let's see if you can finish the worksheet ready go and I just leave it on the table as a separate incentive while the whole group center is still going this is a similar one this is a bigger one and it's a five minute timer so as you flip it the gel will go down and these are just fun different timers for students you can use this you know um, go ahead and take a break and it's a soothing these these are more soothing and sensory timers all this could be just the basic timer that will go off you know oh time to clean up and so timers really make a difference in my classroom but the main one I use at all times is this one this is what I use for playtime when they all earn it this is what I use for work centers or snack time or you know whatever whole group activities we're doing because it doesn't only help the students it helps the staff so when I'm running my center I see oh we only have one minute left. I'm not going to pull out a whole new worksheet, but I'm going to give them a simple task to complete. So they're maximizing their time, but you're not wasting time. And then there's no reason why you run behind or this center is longer than the other one. Everyone's on the same page. So let me show you, you know, what it sounds like. I have um, surround sound in my classroom. So it's great because I um, can play it and say when it time goes off that goes through my class. So this is just, it's long. This is the timer I do because it's visually um, available to every student anywhere in the classroom and it also has the, the auditory uh, cue that will go off. So that's when we might say, okay, get your working card clips. If you earned it, move to the next table. And I just like this because it really helps keep everyone on page and organized. So these are just a few of the timers we use. There's no right or wrong timer. I think the more timers, the better. I have more in my classroom. Um, these are just the different ones I wanted to show you today. So thanks for coming to watch about how I use timers in my classroom. Um, be sure to check back next week on my blog, autismadventures.com, to see my new video of the week. Thank you so much.